Last week I wrote a post about how simple JSON is. In it, I explained the main differences between using JSON and using the update panel. I really started out thinking I'd get to write JSON code, but I ran out of space. Well, today we get to the how. All JSON really is is the ability to have JavaScript code, call a web service for our data, and then write that data into the HTML on our client side. If you know anything about how to write a web service, this should be rather trivial because your web service is going to look just like any other web service with the exception of an added attribute. That att added attribute is the script service attribute. Now to get that to actually register, there's one other thing you're going to need to do and that is add this using statement to get this uh, services namespace in there, system.web.script.services has to be uh, sucked in to your client side code or to your uh, web service code. Now in here, you just have two, uh, web methods like you would normally have, and you have your hello world, which doesn't take any parameters, and your add that takes two parameters. It's just that simple. Now on the client side, you're going to want to create a new page. So add new item. Ajax web form is what we're looking here, look for here. We're going to add that. And it's going to stub out some things that we already need. Now, the first thing in here that's going to look really familiar, from, even from your update, is the script manager. So we put the script manager in there. But there's some other code in order to get the JSON to work that we're going to need to add here. So we put the script manager in there. And then the other code that you need here is services. And inside services, we're going to list the web services that we want to be able to call. And we do that with a service reference call here, path equals. Web service. Yeah, some accent is actually listed there for us, so we're just going to pick it. And now our code's ready to roll, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just do a build here and make sure everything's still working. Build succeeded. Now you'll see we have a, an event handler page load that's already written for us here. We're going to go ahead and uh, just tap into that right now. Um, you might have another event handler that you need to wire up. That's basic JavaScript that you can deal with. But what we're going to do here is we're going to call our web service. And you'll see that web service is already listed in our JavaScript IntelliSense. And we call hello world. And you'll remember, hello world doesn't take any parameters. But now we've got three parameters that we're taking. Uh, these are parameters that the JSON code needs. If you go in here and call add, you'll see that it takes those same three parameters at the end after it takes the two parameters that the web service takes. The first function, uh, the first parameter that this JSON code needs is, is a function or a pointer to the function that gets called during success. Uh, we're just going to call that function success. And another function for when it fails. And then pointer to an object that our success method is going to need. Now, we don't need to pass anything for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this null for right now. Uh, but if you have uh, extra data that you need to pass on to the success function, uh, maybe specifying uh, exactly which button got clicked, uh, you might do that there. The other function that you're going to need, we've already alluded to here, is a function for the success. And the success function takes two parameters. The first parameter it takes is result. And the second one it takes is a context. This parameter right here is what we pass in for the third parameter in our call there. Now on success, we've got to do something with that result. This result is the return value of hello world. And what we need to do is we're going to go down here and just add another div tag in here. And we'll call this fill me at load time.
And that's all we're going to put there. And we're going to have our success code. Just do a basic document. Get element by ID. Fill me at load time. Enter HTML equals result. And then the third function that we need to make all this work is function fail context. I'm sorry, uh, context result. And result's going to have our error message in it. And for this code, we're just going to throw up an alert box if something goes wrong. You might want to handle your errors differently, but that's what we're going to do here. And that's all there is to it. And we go ahead and run this code. And there's our hello world that shows up on the screen if we do a view source. You'll see it mostly a lot of stuff in here for Colin JSON. If we go down here to our div where we have a fill me at load time, you'll see there's no code there. That's because it was filled in from our JavaScript. And that's really all there is to it.